When it comes to school, the teacher usually helps the student. But one sixth grader in Wiscasset turned all that around with his expert engineering skills. Camden Larrabee enhanced a wheelchair belonging to his teacher's daughter at a time when she needed it most. New Center's Cameron O'Brien met Larrabee and his teacher tonight. Pat, Rachel Hamlin is a gifted and talented teacher and Camden Larrabee is her student. Rachel's daughter's name is Isabel and she and Camden met tonight for the first time. They're both 12 years old and Camden tells me it feels great to help out a kid his own age. Did you think it's cool that Camden fixed your wheelchair for you? Rachel Hamlin is a gifted and talented teacher at Wiscasset Elementary. Her daughter, Isabel, has progressive epilepsy and uses a wheelchair to travel far distances. She's had it since age nine and was starting to grow out of it. The state wouldn't replace her wheelchair now that she is getting taller. She's 12 years old um, for another year and a half. So we would, would have had to wait until October of 2020. Isabel needed the pedal of her chair lengthened to accommodate her growing legs. So Rachel turned to one of her own students for a solution sixth grader Camden Larrabee. He excels in STEM and loves to build things and happily accepted the challenge. He completed the task in under 45 minutes. He knew exactly what needed to be done. He worked with what was already there for the engineering. And I just took up two rods in it and luckily it just slid into the existing one. Hmm. So then we could just drill holes and then it's Attach it with nuts and bolts, and it was really that easy. An easy fix that changed Isabel's life just in time for her 12th birthday. Both she and her mom are eternally grateful. You made her birthday party better. You know, she could have been so tired that she had to sit in a chair and not be able to, you know, walk around and go to Build-A-Bear and go on the carousel and do all those things. For Camden, it's just another day at work. And I just thought I was just going to make put an attachment. I, it's really just something I do. And Pat Camden tells me that building is not going to be a one time thing. He plans to go to college for electrical engineering and build robots in the future.